Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to do a Sadhguru video, I do like his videos. Uh, this one here is, you must do this two things to increase your brain power by 500%. That's interesting, uh, let's do this. 500%. The left heel, the left heel is, there is a point on the left wheel that today the medical sciences are calling it, calling it as the Achilles. You heard of that? This spine is not just a physical substance, it is a communication network, a serious communication network. If you lose it or if it becomes insensitive, you don't know what you're losing. You're just losing something phenomenal. So it's not just a physical substance, it is the basis of communication that's happening in the system, isn't it? The spinal cord is… N I mean the spine is not just one single piece, it's many complex assembly. Mm -hmm. Every day it needs to stretch. If it telescopes into one into another, then the communication capability in the spine is hugely lost. Yoga Namaskar is a very simple and complete process by itself. A natural upsurge of energy will happen if you just keep your feet together and sit down in a squat. So the squat is best if you can put your feet together and squat, which most of you cannot do right now, very few people can do. Unfortunately, with my weight problems, um, there's no way I can do a squat. I am on a, on a diet now for the past two days, hopefully it lasts longer than my last one. Um, I'm doing Nomad, where I eat once a day. Um, yeah, it's difficult. Uh, we, we don't, don't want, want too much, much energy, energy to happen. happen. So, so the, the next, next best chance is, is to keep your feet in line with, line with your shoulders, shoulders. Just, just the same width as your shoulders. shoulders. You can do up to twenty-one. Twenty-one is a good number to do. If you cannot do that, start with seven. Slowly. Every two days, one extra, if you do, in about forty days, you will be at twenty-one, which is a good number to do. You will see it will make a phenomenal difference in the way you function. If there is some way to gauge your intelligence, the sharpness of your intellect, you will see you can see a difference happening. Just because you're doing a simple few things to Relax and activate the spine. I don't sit like this all the time, only when I speak. How I am sitting, if I have to explain, there are many aspects to it. One simple aspect is the left heel. The left heel is… there is a point on the left heel that today the medical sciences are calling, as a, calling it as the Achilles. You heard of that? You heard of the man? Achilles, you heard of the man, you saw the movie. You didn't see the movie, Troy, you didn't see? I didn't see the boy. So, you put your Achilles to what is called as muladhara or the perineum in your body. If these two things touch, many aspects are cleared out in you for that period of time. Many aspects means you're… If you'd like to know how an affiliate marketer can go from oh. small irregular payments like $102 or $69 and then generate $5.6 million… Your thoughts are clear, your emotions are out and there is a very clear perception of what's happening around you. You heard that Achilles was killed because an arrow was shot to his heel. You don't believe if somebody hurts your heel you will die, isn't it so? But Achilles died that way. 
And there's another person who died that way in India, way before him. Yesterday was his birthday, Krishna Janmashtami, he also died this way. What this is trying to tell you is, they were killed in an expert way, not just slitting your throat or breaking your head, but just putting a point at the Achilles so they had to die. So there is a certain system, energy system in the body, if that point of Achilles is in touch with your muladhara, when you sit like this, there is a certain balance that you don't take any sides. See, all of us have our own opinions, ideas, ideologies, stuff, our own experiences of life. Your own experiences of life and imprints that you have taken in your mind influences everything that you see. You like this person, you don't like this person, you love this person, you hate this person. All this is because you're constantly taking positions of your own. Yeah. But if you really want to know life, the most important thing is you don't take any position, you're willing to look at everything fresh every moment of your life, absolutely fresh every moment of your life. This is very difficult for people to understand. People who have been with me for thirty, thirty-five years, every day they are with me, working with me, doing so many things. I still don't have a single opinion about them. Only when I did need to do some work, I may look at their competence and stuff, but I don't have a single opinion about anybody who's around me for such a long time. By now you should have formed your opinions, but I don't because that is the essence of spiritual process, that we constantly looking at every life as a possibility. There is of course a distance between possibility and reality. Some will have the courage and commitment to travel the distance, some will not have the courage and commitment to travel the distance. But every life is a possibility. If you want to keep that possibility open, you never ever form an opinion about anybody of any sort. Good, bad, ugly, you don't form these opinions, you simply look at them right now. How are they right now, this moment? That's all that matters to me. How you were yesterday, not my business. How you may be tomorrow, let's see. Tomorrow must be created, not concretized right now, isn't it? So it's a certain geometry of the body. If you manage the geometry of the body well, you must… I'm telling you, right now people, uh, the Western cultures are going about propagating yoga is another stretching exercise. Instead of that you can do pilates, instead of that you can do boxing, instead of that you can play tennis. See, if you want to be just fit, go run somewhere, climb a mountain, play tennis, do something. Yoga is not about fitness, fitness is just one consequence. The important thing is to get the right geometry of life because physical universe is all geometry. Now this building is standing here, whether how long it will stand, whether it will fall on our head today or will it stand for a long time, essentially depends on how geometrically perfect it is. The same goes for the body, the same goes for the planetary system, the same goes for the universe, the same goes for everything. Planet… Planet Earth is going around the sun, not with a steel cable attached to it, just perfection of geometry, isn't it? If little off geometry, if it happens, it's gone forever. And that's true with you also. If you go off your fundamental geometry, you are gone. It's very important at an early age, you do the right things to bring the right sense of geometry. Now, you become competent to go through life. Those people who are thinking only good things should happen to them, obviously they're unfit for life. Because if you do not know how to go through harsh situations well, joyfully, then you will avoid all possibilities, isn't it? You'll avoid all great possibilities of life simply because you want to avoid a little bit of difficulty. Only when you're geometrically in a certain state of congruence, then you're willing to go through any situation no matter what it is. Awesome video. My life hasn't been great in the slightest. Um, my work life is awkward and annoying. Um, we're overloaded with work and they spread it all out and it's like, there's one of me, one. I've got two other people with me, but they're not skilled 
and uh, they put so much pressure on my head to get it done that I'm considering walking out because enough's enough. I've been there for 35 years and no, 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 no. But I would like to start yoga because yoga is a very good thing to do. Um, problem is my weight is the issue. I can't get into the poses because of my weight. So uh, I think if I can stick to a diet for the next six months, maybe by the summer, I should be ready for um, some yoga. Hopefully. I did go yoga about, um, oh, geez, and geez, geez, 12 years ago, roughly. I don't know, and a sports center in Harrow, oh, you want to know Harrow, but it's 10 miles from where I am. Um, I liked it, I enjoyed it, it was fun, it was good. Um, maybe I was the only man in the room, but I liked it. Anyway guys, great video, I enjoyed that a lot, very interesting. I'll see you soon for our next video. Take care, I love you all, bye bye.